Welcome back, everyone, to the Lanterns of the Pine, where I am back here in Salt Marsh, and I found this group of buildings. Let's see if I can find anything over here. No one has used the warehouses of Crapper's Cove for years, officially anyway. Rumor has it that some of the local smugglers used the shacks as a rendezvous point under cover of night. Oh, what a shock! A smuggler's hideout? Really? Is this a smuggler? This is a disconcerted villager. Did, did you see it too? Uh, see what? It appeared to be every night asking to be released. It led me here to Crabber's Cove. But then I saw those brutes and their captives and I... Oh dear, I can tell from the look on your face that you have no idea what I'm talking about. I take it that you uh, haven't been seeing mysterious apparitions in your dreams? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Captives? Sounds of serious. Sounds very serious. Tell me about the captives. Oh, a very disreputable looking group of sailors took the two captives into Crabber's Cove warehouse over there. The captives looked very confused indeed. I didn't recognize their prisoners, so they must not be from Salt Marsh. What do those poor captives have to do with the apparition I've been seeing? <laughs> it's all very confusing. I can see if I can find your apparition and free those captives, okay? Well, looks like he's agreeable to that, so I presume this is the warehouse in question, since it is the one with the quest portal on it. We have... What Steps Below? I hope it's not another nightmare. Then again, that man seems to be having nightmares in a completely different sense of the word. This building looked abandoned from the outside. But once inside, you can see signs of recent habitation. In fact, you can hear muffled voices from the next room. Ooh. Like this person right over here? A muffled shout can be heard from one of the rooms. Hi there! Above. Are you? No, he's not friendly. Okay. Well then, no one's ever happy to see me, it seems. I guess that previous man who gave me the quest was happy to see me. Memorandum. Must I remind you of the terms of our deal? The Brotherhood will use our connections to ensure that your trade is illicit goods continues unhindered. In exchange, you guard the complex and carry out the Brotherhood's Hood's orders to the on, to on the grounds. That includes looking after our captives or lubber layabouts, as you call them. Let us have no more squabbling over this matter. You do not wish to, to make an enemy of the Scarlet Brotherhood. Oh, wonderful! Great. Now we're dealing with the Scarlet Brotherhood. Ah. <sighs> oh well. Yep. Let's see, we've got a signal crystal there and a triangle. We've got a square and a blue signal crystal. Nothing here. Coming along? about ah all right let's let's see what's over in here hold on guess what i forgot about today i forgot mm, to reassemble the dog there you go oh, what was that that is a dwarven axe of. D well, it can be sold at least. Oh, oh. This stalker!
Okay, now where did it appear? <laughs> Hey, hey, oh, there you are. Okay. Ah, the wonders of fighting the stalkers in tight places. The security doors must be kept closed at all times. I presume those are those things with the signal crystals. The Brotherhood cannot have intruders interfering with our affairs. You mean intruders like me? Not while we conduct our researches. The system of levers and locks is quite straightforward, and I might add, the extra security would not have been necessary in the first place if we had kept finding empty ale barrels and half-eaten sandwiches in the summoning chamber. Minus. Uh-huh. Okay. What about over here? Nope. All right. And what about over here? Oh, hi! Is that... <laughs> the, the smugglers aren't exactly the top-notch ones. A figure in the corner calls for help as you burst into the room. Ah! A green and a triangle. Lever is locked. Uh, hello. At last, I thought that these lunatics will keep me here forever. They kept asking me to read text written in some weird language. I can't make heads or tails of it. I mean, I barely know shorthand. Though Master Stargazer tells me th that with work... Oh, wait. Master Stargazer, what's happened to her? Uh, let's start this at the beginning. How did you end up here? Oh, Master Stargazer and I were traveling through town. We were staying in a tavern, waiting for a ship to arrive. This morning, uh, we went out to look for the old ruined tower outside the town. But that group of brigands grabbed us and brought us here. They dragged Master Stargazer down into a cavern below this building. Then they brought me up here and tried to get me to read that strange script. Uh, thanks for rescuing me. See, uh, see if you can find Master Stargazer. Uh, she must be around here somewhere. Okay, uh, exactly who questioned you? Oh, we were captured by some common thugs. Uh, sailors, I think. The people who interrogated us, though, were robed. They were a bit brighter color of the robes or an in intelligence what oh uh, anyway uh, but honestly they all seem to be over their heads there's probably only a handful of people alive today who could read that text whatever they're tinkering with down is very old and probably very dangerous okay i'll deal with the rest of them it should be safe for you to leave now all right the prisoner tells you that his captors interrogated him about a strange script he couldn't read he says that the other captive was taken down through the basement and into a cavern. Okay. So now that we've got the green one, yep, green light is open and that door is open. So let's head on this way. Nothing here. Sure. Oh, there they are. Oh, I was wondering, was, was there anyone protecting this place? No, uh, they're all upstairs. This is, what, were they keeping a watch on me? Okay, there she comes up here. Oh. No, they weren't keeping an eye on me. Okay, there we go. This looks like their break room. Fine. A door creaks open down on the main floor. Dank air wafts up from the lower level of the building. All right, so that's open now. And nothing here. 
So downstairs. I hear a sound. A musty smell permeates this part of the building. Stairs lead down to the basement. Into the basement. Make sure everybody follows me. Oh, oh, okay. M more of these brigands, I see. Right. What, where is that dog going? No idea. Let, let's do this methodically. All right, I came from here. Uh, all right, I guess this room has already been emptied. Ooh. Not too sure what to do with all these dragon shard fragments. I don't think I've actually ever done anything useful with any of them. Maybe someday I'll actually look it up. Okay, what are they for now? I'm sure I looked it up one time before and decided it wasn't worth... Oops! That wasn't worth pursuing. Maybe just sell the things. Money is always something useful, right? Assuming that they're sellable. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, well, let's go and see what we got down here. Somebody's bedroom, I guess. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, hold on. A triangle, a blue triangle. No, that that's not a triangle. That's a diamond. A blue diamond. Yes. Oops. Oh, restroom. Uh, stay away from me. There you go. Oh. There we go. The door opens, and a gust of cool, damp air billows out. Okie dokie! Now what we have, we have a trip down here, trip down here, rats! Scratching and squeaking can be heard from deeper inside the cavern. Alright, now considering that this is past the last of the security doors, I'm going to assume that means that... that we're past the smuggler area and we're going to be finding this Scarlet Brotherhood at some point. Okay, and... Two corridors lie to the east and west. The door to the eastern hallway is open, while the locked door to the west has three dim crystals above it. Okay, three dim crystals. Let's see if we can find anything here that... Uh, I think I found the Scarlet Brotherhood. And, okay, good. What is it about evil societies and wearing red? It's in D&D. Right, and... Okay, this way. Keep an eye out for signal crystals. Your turn. Nothing there. Uh, 
I'm trying to do this thoroughly because there are plenty of times when I've done this quest where let's just say it took me a while to a halfling woman stands nearby reading a book a halfling okay I was ah we have a star oh, I guess I'd speak to her first Ah, thank you, stranger, uh, for rescuing me from these idiots. For some reason, they captured me and my apprentice as we were passing through Salt Marsh. Then, they dragged me into this room and started to question me regarding my knowledge about an ancient script. I was unable to read the text. It was in some sort of ancient language, one that's probably been dead for thousands of years. Just judging from what my captors talked about uh, when they thought that I wasn't listening, they're up to some sort of th something sinister. Something sinister in Salt Marsh. Hmm. All right. And did they mention an apparition appearing in their dreams? Apparition? No. Not from what they said. I gathered that they were trying to summon something. Something evil. And who questioned you? Oh, we were captured by quite common thugs. Uh, sailors, I think. Uh, the people who were interrogating me were robed. And were a bit brighter. This sounds familiar. Ah, well, I guess uh, like teacher, like student. And But, honestly, they all seem to be over their heads. Yes. That's probably only a handful of people today would have re read the text. Yeah, okay, I... Got it. I'll deal with the rest of them. The halfling tells you that members of the Brotherhood interrogated her in a nearby building. She fears that they're trying to summon a great evil. A great evil. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, I was wondering when I was going to get the next one of those. Alright, let's see. I sense a trap. Oh, the trap. <laughs> Boy, I am so sensitive about traps. I can smell it from the other end. There's the wall in between. All right, that's two of the three signal crystals. Make sure there's nothing here. Yeah. I'd say on the other side of that wall, there's probably some sort of thing in there. One of the brothers found a most unusual tome buried beneath the floorboards. It seems that there's more to this old building than we suspected when we chose it to be our meeting place. And the part of the book that we can see describes some kind of powerful creature bound by even more powerful wards. What a find this is! If we could control this creature, it would finally put the Salt Marsh branch of the Scarlet Brotherhood onto this map. Though, there is a complication. What many fine and worthy members of our community belong to the Scarlet Brotherhood, none understand the language most of the book is written in. Still, there are scholars who pass through the town en route to other des destinations. We will use our methods to persuade them to cooperate. So, they find this old text. They want to summon something. And they can't understand everything that's in there. So you capture a couple of scholars and hope that they'll be able to read it. Right! Oh. Well, yeah. Oh, this must be the room where the trap actually is located. Alright. And... Uh, oops. Alright, this is getting complicated. Trap, hidden, everything. A hidden trap. Alright, 
I, I heard the sound of secret door being detected. Now I think I've already detected what needs to be okay. So now what does this thing say? Minus's journal. The smugglers report that some line of apparition haunts their dreams, begging them to free it. They claim to be horrified by this and that they're considering fleeing the area. I could see what they're after. I promise them a hefty cash bonus after we decipher the book. That should keep them around for a while longer. We must complete one of our summoning projects. We need to be more reliable ser we need more reliable servants. <laughs> okay, so they are gonna summon this nasty, nasty, nasty creature and hope that'll be a more reliable servant. I can see that this is gonna be nasty for them. I still haven't seen either of the track a series of gears click in the distance and a loud thunk reverberates through the cavern. I, I still haven't seen the actual trap or the secret area. It must be in this thing right over here. Right? It keeps on telling me I see something's hidden, but... I can't find it. Oh well. Let's see. I found all three of the... Uh, maybe it's under... Oh, it's in a floor below us! <laughs> yes, of course. Why would it not be below us? All right, well, we got that thing open. Is there anything over here? Nope. Like a secret door or a trap? Oh, this is the headquarters of the Scarlet Brotherhood, I guess. The faint sound of chanting can be heard from deeper inside the building. Well... I have to do something about that. Well, we know they haven't deciphered the book yet because they keep on complaining about that. Defeat the halt the red-handed. You can hear chanting in the distance as you enter the building. We need a green crystal for that. A blue and a yellow crystal for that. And is that our last one, or is there still one more? To we got ransacked. Okay, okay. Ah, the book keeps its secrets. Neither of the captives have been able to decipher it. I've told the others to carry on with summoning the fiend instead. Yet, I can't but think that this building hides some greater secret. Oh, well. Oh, hello. Okay, there you go. Ah, the blue lever. Anything in here that's useful? Nada. Okay, that's half of that one. None of that one. The other end. Oh. Oh, oh okay, that's another lever. Ok, 
Okay. And pull this one. Okay, I heard something move. Of course, we have one of the doors there. First, let's see what's in here. Someone who wants us dead, apparently. Ooh, I hit a level on the... Onslaught. Ooh, he was an optional, apparently. Okay, what's in here? Treasure! Unholy one light mace. Uh, well, the chest did belong to the Scarlet Brotherhood. What should I expect? Okay, that one is still not available. We do have here. The chanting halts. An angry form materializes inside the summoning circle. That's what they've been worried about summoning? Well, they can't control it, that's for sure. I think they spoke the wrong words. from the room next door shouts what's going on don't tell me you bungled the ritual can't anyone in this backwater do anything right nope apparently not Oops. And yeah, you. Oh, a blurry hellhound. Meleth falls, but the violence of your struggle causes part of the chamber floor to collapse. They had two summoning circles? Huh. He wanted his own private one, I guess. Alright, ooh, how interesting. A coffin lies in the corner of this dusty crypt, covered in arcane wards. You have to solve this before I can open that up. At last! Long I have been bound here, trapped within my prison. Yet my countless years of confinement were paradise compared to what I had to endure when that Scarlet Brotherhood arrived. They had their meeting directly above me, droning on and on about their pretty schemes. Is there anything more tedious than the plans of small men? Their constant babbling over drove me mad. So I reached out, speaking to people in their dreams, searching for someone who would come and release me from this torture. And now you come here, ready to fulfill your destiny. Free me, I command. And rather not, I think you must must help yourself to whatever treasure chest is over on my way. Fair enough. I should have known that anyone with a will and, and determination to deal with those brotherhood cretins would not be so easily swayed by my will. Very well, then. Leave me in blissful silence. I need a rest after I have not listened to those insects. All right. The creature in the casket asks you to free him, but you decide that there must have been a good reason for the thing to be bound inside its coffin. Best to let sleeping apparitions lie. Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. There is still deciphering... Oh. I never deciphered the book. Okay. Uh, I'm supposed to be able to get out of here, right? Oh, now I can pull this lever. Oh, 
Oh, a ladder. Okay. Get out of here. Where is this mysterious book? In the summoning room? A book! Know this? I... I lost the book! Actually... This looks like maybe it would have been a good place for it, right? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> ah! Here's the book. Ancient Tome. This book explains that the creature within the gate can only be released by someone who is in pure heart and kind of spirit. This creature is most foul, and a heavy cost was pay, paid to trap the creature within. Okay, fine. You managed to decipher the text. The book describes some kind of bound creature that can only be released by one who is true of heart. Well, interesting. So, I'm able to read this completely indecipherable text. Wow, I must be quite a linguist. Uh, I think I've dealt with your apparition. Smugglers? The Scarlet Brotherhood? Summoned fiends? Oh, goodness. That's quite a lot to process. But, you freed the prisoners, you say? Well, that calls for a reward. Here, take this. Oh, one of the smugglers dropped it. Oh, ho hold on. I I've got something to deal with first. Really? When I'm talking to a quest giver. <sighs> Alright. Now, you're saying? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Mm. Good. Yeah, it's quite a lot to process. Oh, it calls for a reward. Here, take this. Uh, one smuggler's dropped it. Oh, dear. I do hope that the apparition isn't angry. I really need to get some sleep. I don't think the apparition will bother you anymore. I... It seemed happy to get some peace and quiet. Alright, let's see what we can get over here. Uh, hmm. Arm piercing to no great cross repeating like crossbow of tendon slice. Uh, oh, actually, it's a plus two crossbow. Yeah, actually, that that's an upgrade. Okay, well, uh, that's nice. So uh, that's it for that little adventure. So next time. Maybe next time we could finally go and look at that this red lair. Let's see if we can get there in the next episode of The Lanterns of the Pine.